What's up everybody and welcome again Selamat datang sekali lagi ke channel aku Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera Nama aku Han And hari ni aku akan ajar sikit macam mana nak bagi bateri Android Phone korang tahan lama sikit Gaming has never been more affordable with AVF And with their new AVF media box You can even enjoy 4K Ultra HD movies at only 259 ringgit Check the link in the description below to get your own AVF media box. Okay, first thing sekali jangan tutup kita punya tasks and everything yang dah ada dekat dalam tu semua main, benda yang banyak-banyak application yang kita dah buka tu kan. Jangan tutup, just biar je. Sebab memory management tak sama macam kita dekat desktop kita ataupun PC ataupun Mac kita. It's a little bit different sebab kalau dekat phone, it's stored there and senang nak access balik and bila kau buka ke, ke sebab... Kita selalu dekat info kita, kita selalu buka Instagram, selalu buka Facebook, selalu buka Twitter And kalau kita tutup that, that means dia kena buka balik and then kena start balik Next, number two is jangan tutup Wi-Fi is because Yes, kalau kita tak tutup Wi-Fi, kita biar je means dia guna power lebih sikit kan But kita dah sampai satu tahap yang aku nampak A lot of areas, especially like dalam bandar sikit ke semua, semua tempat ada Wi-Fi Almost every place ada Wi-Fi and kita punya phone pakai a GPS. It's assisted GPS, bukan GPS yang macam mana device GPS yang uh, professionals use What that means is that dia guna kita punya Wi-Fi sikit, dia guna kita punya phone signal sikit And then dia guna kita punya assisted GPS, accelerometer kita untuk determine kita punya location Macam aku cakap tadi, there is a lot of places yang ada Wi-Fi So it's better to use Wi-Fi rather than kita punya phone signal ataupun kita punya data And nombor tiga, siapa-siapa punya phone yang pakai AMOLED display So it's better kalau macam kalau korang nak um, pakai black uh, wallpaper ataupun dark theme sikit ke apa ke It's because dia akan save battery sikit sebab dia akan tutup that pixel entirely So dia takkan switch on So ada battery saving uh, element kat situ Yes, it's a little bit boring So apa yang korang boleh buat is cari wallpaper yang ada a lot of black elements Ada banyak area yang gelap-gelap, hitam tu semua tu Kau boleh guna wallpaper tu and Simpan bateri sikit And number 4 Obviously semua orang tahu About display brightness Korang boleh turunkan display brightness tu Yes memang best Pakai auto brightness But sekali sekala Korang boleh turunkan lagi And actually you'll be surprised On how much battery Korang boleh save Sebab korang turunkan sikit brightness Manually instead of Kau biar dia auto brightness all the time Now nombor 5 ni Aku tak sure about phone lain Ataupun phone yang belum root ke apa benda ke But aku punya Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge Ada option Untuk turunkan resolution sampai ke 720p Sekarang aku guna 1080p Aku boleh pergi ke 2560 by 1440p But aku choose to use 1080p Sebab aku Always keep it charged, ada power bank. Uh, kalau siapa-siapa yang nak save lebih sikit, boleh turunkan resolution ke 720p. This type of setting, aku rasa kalau phone Android yang tak ada this kind of feature, kena download app and phone tu kena actually dah root, baru korang boleh adjust the resolution. Now, number 6 is Android Auto Update. So, maksudnya Play Store korang tu, korang boleh pergi ke settings dia, pergi tukar dia punya cara dia update. Maksudnya sama ada nak guna data ke ataupun nak guna wifi only ke ataupun wifi bila charge ke apa benda ke baru dia uh, update sendiri ataupun best option is manually update. Maksudnya bila korang check, bila korang start update je baru dia ada start update. Number 7 is location settings. Location settings yang korang boleh set dekat phone korang macam aku punya, aku boleh choose whether high accuracy ke apa benda ke. Uh, aku guna high accuracy selalu sebab aku guna Waze. So I have to bear with the battery usage yang guna untuk high accuracy. Kalau korang tak guna high accuracy dekat Waze, dia basically dia tak function very well or not functioning at all but bila korang tak guna apa-apa benda tu uh, just switch it off ataupun tukar dia punya settings ke kepada setting lagi rendah ke so that it would save much more battery now number 8 and that's the last one untuk this video is notification settings notification settings ni is more like push notification settings dekat uh, iPhone punya features but on Android it's more like uh, notification settings korang boleh switch off one by one and the more korang tutup the more battery you can save. Alright, so now that is it. Tu saja untuk video ni. Thank you so much sebab tengok aku punya video daripada awal sampai habis and kalau kau rasa dapat membantu member kau, pergi share kat diorang and kalau kau rasa dapat membantu korang, like di or dislike ke tak. Kalau tak suka video ni, dislike je. Tak ada masalah. And comment, share, subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. <coughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Air of the Geeks, baby. This video is brought to you by Lucro PC, your one-stop destination for the best computer parts in Malaysia. Check them out in the link in the description below. Hey, hey, hey. I got
got a condo in Manhattan. Baby girl, what's happening? You and your ass invited. So go and get to clapping. Go pop a phone, pop, pop, pop a phone, me. Turn around and drop it for a plan.